was still with part of a circle. Okay, now we're going to have chords and secants. Okay, so with chords and secants, for the first one, we have two chords intersect inside a circle. So this is N. Okay, so we have two chords intersect inside the circle. In the second case, we have two chords intersect on the circle. On the circle. The third case, we have two secants intersect outside the circle. Okay, so what's the rules? The rules is easy. If the two chords intersect inside the circle, we just divide by two. We add the two arcs and we divide by two. So the arcs is this one and that one. In order to find X, we add the arcs and we divide by two. So if this is A and this is B, it's going to be A plus B over two. Does this make sense? So in order for you to be able to find the angle X, if they, if the two chords intersect on the circle, and this is the uh, the minor arc, so you just divide the arc by two for this case. Okay. Uh, Walid, the, the X is the angle here. So you take the arcs and you add them and divide it by two to find X. X is the angle between the two chords. Okay. For the third case, when it's out, you need to find the angle between the two secants. You take the two chords, if this is A and this is B, you subtract them A minus B over 2. Okay. Let me just go through um, problems so you can see it. So, here is the pro this problem here. So for this one here, we would have two secants intersect. Is this one in, on, out? Which one is this one? In, on, out. This is out. So when it's out, it's going to be 90 minus 30 over 2. Isn't it? So this is going to be 30 degrees. Because this is out. When it's out, you subtract arcs by 2. How about this one here? It's, this is in, on, out. The second one. This is on. When it's on, we have to divide by two. But pay attention. Pay attention. No, 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 no. Pay attention. We divide by two if we want to find the angle, isn't it? But the angle is already given. So this is x now. So x over 2 has to be 80. Isn't it? So this is has to be 160. Because if, if you know the arc, you can find the angle. If you know the angle, you can find the arc. Yes. So you have just to pay a little attention. But it's similar rule, but you have to pay attention. No, 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 no. Um, I'm not sure. So, Ira, does. so this is not in in a semicircle. So you have to pay attention. Does does this say in this is the center? Is this is the center? No. So you can't tell if the angle A is ninety degrees. If this is does not tell you this is the center, so you can't tell this is a ninety degree has to be this is the center okay because let me just go back to show you the one uh before do you see do you see this one here this is the center this is the center so you have yes okay good now uh for the second one i know some of you get confused a little bit if i if i need to find the angle i have to divide the arc by two isn't it isn't it? So what's missing in here? Is it the arc or the angle for this one? Which one is missing?
So the arc over two is 80. So you have to multiply by two. Okay. Third one. So how about the third one? Is it in, on, or out? Let me just double check. This one is out. This is out. Okay. I have to find the angle. X is missing. So I know X has to be the difference between two angles over two, two arcs over two. But if this is 240, how about this one? What's this one? This is 120. Why this is 120? Because the whole circle is a 360. Yes, the whole circle is a 360. So this is going to be 240 minus 120. So this is going to be 120 over 2, which is 60. Make sense? Make sense? Yeah. So what you need to know to make it easier for you, it, there are like three different cases. In, on, out. The question, either they ask about the arc or about the angle. It's the same rule. Okay? I think I've been through all the possible questions for this time. Okay, so let's just see number uh, 32. So for 32, which one is this one? In, on, out. This is on, in, out. This is in, yes. This is in. So the rule for in, you add and subtract. You add and divide by two. So this is the first arc. This is the second arc. So in order to find x, this is going to be 130 plus 84 over 2. Because this is the rule. This is up. This is n. This is the rule we're going to use. You add the arc and you divide by 2. So x is going to be 84 plus 30 divided by 2. Okay? Isn't it? So this is going to be 1, 1, 4 over 2. So the answer is 107. Are we good? with uh, 32, or is there any questions? Well, 214, yes, thank you. Yeah, my bad. Yes, 214, yes. Are we good? So you just have to, so, uh, Luai, there is a, uh, Luai, can you talk to me, Luai? Can you open your mic and talk to me? Uh, yes, yes, hello, hello. Yeah, so which part you didn't get? The question before this. The question okay. before this. You mean this one here? Uh, no, no. The one before it. You mean this the one here? Yes, yes. Okay. So, this is the angle. And this is the arc. Is it? This is the arc. Uh, yes. So, for on, we divide the arc by two. And here we don't have the arc, so you multiply by two to find it. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Okay, خلاص. Thank you, thank you, teacher. Okay. Um. Okay. Is it one or two for this one? Is it one or two? Good, good. You see, the problems for um S A A T are simple if you know the rule. Once you know the rule, it's just a straightforward. Here we go. This one also, this is, we have to find x. This is the length. This is not an angle, okay? And this one also has a rule. You multiply the two parts of a chord is equal to when you multiply the two parts of a chord. Like for this one here, if you multiply 9x, it has to be the same as when you multiply 3 times 6. Does this make sense? Does this make sense? So this is an easy, and it should be this is an easy one if you know the rule. You multiply the parts of each chord, and you get the same result. So for this one, 9x has to be 18, so x has to be 2. Easy one? No, no, does not, I would not say they are parallel. We're just saying we have to multiply the two parts. So here is another example, just to to make it uh, 
to show you that they are not parallel, okay? Here we go. Do you see this one here? If I say this is five, this is a three, and for example, this is also a three, and I need to find X here. Okay, so this is easy. Three X has to be the same as five times three. So three X has to be 15, so X has to be five. So we're done. Let me give you another, another one, okay? So here is another one. Let's say we have this one and that one, okay? Let's say this is 10, this is two, Let's say this is five, this is X. Okay, I need to find X, so this is easy. Five X has to be equal to two times 10. So five X is equal to 20, so X has to be four. Are we good? Easy one? It's an easy one? Are we good? Good, so this is just a... Just multiply the chords. Okay, here we go. Now we're still with the circle. Here we go. So this is the general equation of a circle. It's x minus h squared plus y minus k all squared is equal to the radius square. So the center is h k. We take h and k with the opposite side. Okay. We take them. We take them with the opposite sign. Like for this one, the question is just straightforward. They need the center. Okay. So this is the center. This is h. This is k. Isn't it? The center is h and k. But we take it with the opposite sign. So it should be what? It should be two, negative one. It's two negative one, isn't it? So the answer is. Okay. So the center, we take the numbers H and K with the opposite sign. Is it one or two? Good, good, good. So then let's just move on to page nine. No, we still, okay, page nine. Page, this is not part of a circle. This is um, equation of a line, of a line, okay? Now, equation of a line, it says, Find the equation of a straight line passes through 0 and negative 3, negative 1, and negative 1. So, this is the standard equations for, okay, which is y is equal to mx plus b. So, what's m? m is the slope. This is the slope. m is the slope. So, this is m this loop what's b what's this b here do you guys know what's this b yeah so b is the y intercept isn't it okay so this is the y intercept what does y intercept mean so if we have the plane this is x, this is y, and we have a line, any line like this one, for example. This point here is the y-intercept, isn't it? So this is b. Yes? So this is b. So do, you, do we know the coordinates of this point? Yes. The coordinate of this point has to be 0 and b. Do you agree on this one? This is the coordinate of this point, is 0 and b. So if you go up there and look, what's this point here? This is the y-intercept, isn't it? So what's b then? Isn't this point here is 0 and b? So b has to be negative 3. So which one of the equation has b to be negative 3? Is this is negative 3? No. Is this is negative 3? No. Is this negative 3? No. This is negative 3. So yes, the answer is D. And you're done. 
yes so the answer is d is it one or two good 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 if it's not given like this then in this case first you have to find this loop then you have to use the formula which is this one okay uh falwa not falwa what was the question okay so let's just draw the equation okay so first we have to find the slope so the slope is going to be y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 okay so this is x1 this is y1 this is x2 this is y2 so it's going to be negative 1 negative negative 3 over x2 is negative 1 minus 0 so the slope is going to be 1 minus minus 3 which is a 3 so this is going to be negative 2 over no it's going to be 2 plus 2 isn't it plus 2 over uh no negative 2 negative, negative plus this is going to be 2 yeah over negative 1 so the slope is going to be negative 2 isn't it yeah so the slope is going to be negative 2 so if you look if you find the slope which one has a slope negative 2 which one has m to be negative 2 which one of the choices is it this one no is it this one no is it this one no this is negative 2 so this is the answer do you see it now so even if you don't know this um the y intercepts once you found the slope you have to check the choices and there is only one choice with the slope is negative two once you found the slope you can apply this formula here yes so is it one or two good 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 here we go then we still um, the equation of a straight line which is parallel so this is also thing you have to know if two lines which is parallel to the straight line so uh, the rules are in page nine in your booklet it says that if we have two lines are parallel they have the same slope so if if we have parallel lines okay then the slopes are the same isn't it do you guys know this fact here if we have two parallel lines they have the same slope yes or no yes so the slope here since the equation is this form the slope is two this is the slope this is m so is the slope here too no is the slope here too no these two equations i have to put them in standard form for this one here is going to be m is negative 2x plus 3. so is the slope here too no isn't it so for this one here it's going to be 5y is equal to 10x plus 2 then i have to divide by 5 so this is going to be 10 over 5 x plus 5 over 2 so this is going to be 2 x plus 2 over 5 so the slope here is 2 so the answer is okay so the idea is if we have two parallel lines the slope has to be the same so you have to only check the slope there is only um a and b are wrong for d you have to put it in the standard form so you have to move 2x to the other side for this one i have to move 2x to the other side so when i move 2x to the other side it's become negative 2x so the slope is negative then i only left with c c is correct if you want to double check where you, 
actually you don't have to double check. I mean, you have to save time in a test, but if you double want to double check, I'll move negative X to the other side. So it's become 10 X. Then I have to divide by five because the standard form is Y is equal to MX plus B. So when I divide by five, 10 over five is two. So is it one or two? Is it one or two? Yes, Faisal, what's your question? Uh, what happens to the y intercept? To what? To the y intercept. We, we don't care about the y intercepts because when we're talking about parallel lines, here we go. So this is the plane, Faisal, okay? Okay. So we have two parallel lines. Here is the first one, and here is the second one, okay? They are parallel, but the y-intercepts is different. The y-intercept for this one is here. The y-intercept for the second one is here, but they are parallel, okay? So the y-intercept has does not have to be the same. Okay, Faisal? So you have to find... Uh, the, the slope. Only yeah. the slope, okay? The slope has to okay. be the same. That's it. But the y intercept is not the same. Okay. okay? Mm -hmm. Are we good with this one, you guys? Or shall we move on? Good. So the idea is easy. Uh, yes, Luai, what's your question? So it doesn't matter what the y intercept is as long as it's 2x. And it's like uh, it's in y equals 2x. That's why D isn't correct. Yes. That's why yes. Yes. Okay. The, what's important is the slope. Yes. The okay. white tab is going to be different. And, okay. We're good. Okay. How we go? Thank you. Um, the line Y is equal to negative one passes through. So what does this line mean? Here is it. Here it is. Here is oh, the plane. Yeah. This is. Do you guys know what's this line? This is X. This is Y. So. Whenever you have an equation like this one, this is the line. This is, yes, thank you, Walid. This is a horizontal line passes it through a negative one. This is the line, y is equal to negative one. Okay, so for sure, if you see the line here, so how about the y-axis for this one? Does the y-axis change? No. The y-axis is always what? Y is always negative 1. So y has to be always negative 1. So this is the answer. Okay? This is the answer. Why? Because whenever you plug in any values for x, y has to be negative 1. Because it's already fixed there. Y has to be negative 1. So the equation is like x and negative 1. Okay, if y is equal to zero, if y is equal to zero, then the equation is going to be x and zero. That's it. Okay, so any question about this one? Yeah, yeah. Okay, here we go. This is the um, 38. Uh, slope of a line perpendicular to y is equal to 3x minus 1. So if we have two lines which are perpendicular, what do we know about the slope? Uh, uh, Subayh, pay attention. Here is the idea. The idea is the product of the slopes has to be negative 1. If the two lines are perpendicular, yes, Dora, it's negative of the reciprocal. So this is M1. M1, this is the slope. So M1 is a 3. So the idea M1 times M2 has to be negative 1. So that means 3 times negative 2 has to be negative 1. Okay, so what's negative 2 then? Is it just negative 1 over 3? which is the negative of the reciprocal. So the negative of the reciprocal is M2 
negative of the reciprocal, which is three. So the answer is C. If two lines are perpendicular, the product of the slopes has to be negative one. Uh, let me give you any, any, another question. So for example, if I give you this equation, which is let's say uh, one over two X plus seven. Okay, so what's the, give me a line that's, what's the slope of a line which is perpendicular to this one? So the slope perpendicular to this one has to be the reciprocal. What's the reciprocal of two? What's the reciprocal of one half, sorry? Yeah, which is two. Then you take the negative. So this is going to be two, negative two, yeah. So the slope of the line, which is perpendicular to this one, has to be negative two, okay? So it's not always um, a fraction. So if you have a fraction, you'll get another one. So you take just the reciprocal negative, the reciprocal, okay? So you, you get the reciprocal and then put negative in front of it. Yes, yes. So let me give you another example, okay? Here is another one, just to make sure everything's been clear. So if, it, if, the, if the line is negative 1 over 7x plus 1, so what's this loop of the line which is perpendicular to this one? 7, isn't it? Because you take the reciprocal with negative sign, okay? So the answer is seven. So are we good? Are we good? You guys, do you see the problems are just straightforward if you know the rule? Yeah. So this is basically the test. It's not about solving the problems with lines of some 